New York City is home to many amazing ramen restaurants, but there's one that not only makes great ramen, they offer a dining experience like none other. Today I'm here in New York City and it's a beautiful day out, albeit a very hot one, but I'm glad I got a little respite from the sun and the shade here. And with weather like this, you know what the perfect thing to eat is? That's right, ramen. A nice, hot, steaming bowl of ramen. Yeah, right. But honestly, I love ramen so much, I would eat it in the middle of a desert in smoldering heat. It is one of my all-time favorite foods. For my lunch today, I not only had ramen in one of the most iconic ramen restaurants in New York City, I'm talking about one of the most iconic ramen restaurants in the entire world. I went to the legendary Japanese establishment known as Ichiran. The restaurant is of course famous for their ramen, but they're also really well known for the experience they provide. One dines in these sort of cubicle-like booths. It's the coolest thing. Now, full disclosure, I didn't pay for my food. I was invited to the establishment in exchange that I would share my experience by you know, making a video. I'm pretty fortunate in the fact that every once in a while, a restaurant would reach out to me, offer me free food in exchange for a video or something like that. But the fact of the matter is, I can only really make one video a week, so it has to be a place that really interests me. Because of that, I've turned down every single restaurant that has reached out to me until today. The fact is, I was actually planning to go to Ichiran anyways and make a video about it, but then this offer came and I was like, well, this is perfect. Now I don't have to pay for anything. Now, I'm still gonna be honest. If the food sucks, you'll certainly hear about it, but I think it's important to disclose my position. Luckily, I enjoyed my ramen, but I really enjoyed the whole overall experience more. So this was my lunch at Ichiran. It was in 1960 that Ichiran got its start as a simple ramen stall. Today, the restaurant has expanded to numerous locations throughout Japan and Asia. New York City is currently home to three outposts of the restaurant. I went to the Times Square location. I showed up at about 2 p.m. on a Thursday and was surprised to find a bit of a line, even though it wasn't exactly prime dining hours. There's no doubt about it, it's a popular place and they don't take reservations, but I never have a problem waiting for good food. Once I got into the restaurant and before I was seated, I was given the menu to fill out. Ichiran specializes in tokatsu ramen, which is a pork-based broth, but they also offer a veggie alternative. One can customize nearly every aspect of their ramen. Since it was my first time at Ichiran, I followed the establishment's recommendations, except that I went one level higher on the spice scale. But it wasn't long before I was seated in one of their signature solo dining booths. I just got seated. This is so cool. This is like my own little private dining pavilion. This is awesome. According to Ichiran, the booths are designed to allow one to fully immerse oneself in the flavors of their ramen without the distractions of a typical restaurant. My inner introvert is really loving this right now. Once my order was taken, it was up to me to fill up my own glass of water as there was a self-serve dispenser nearby. Before my ramen arrived, I was presented with the recommended topping set, which consisted of chashu, dried seaweed, scallions, kikurage mushrooms, and a soft-boiled egg. The toppings came out literally within like a minute or so of ordering and they smell so good and I'm so tempted to start nibbling on them because I'm just starving, but I've got to stay strong. Awesome, thank you. Thank God, the ramen came out pretty quick too. Time to start digging in. Ramen in Ichiran is a beautiful thing and I particularly like the iconic bowls that they're served in. While many simply don't care, I love when restaurants have signature tableware. Because of this, I can recognize a bowl of Ichiran ramen instantly, in the same way I can spot a dish from other restaurants like Carbone and Peter Luger, mainly from the plates they're served on. To me, this gives a restaurant additional character, which I appreciate. In fact, there was a sign outside Ichiran promoting the news that they're once again utilizing their classic ramen bowls. Of course, nice serving vessels mean little if the food doesn't taste good, so it was time to try my ramen. First, I wanted to sample their classic bowl before I added any of the additional toppings. I began by consuming a bit of the broth. That broth is delicious, so rich, flavorful, really hearty. I am loving it. Ichiran prides itself on their all-natural tonkatsu broth fashioned solely from pork bones. The restaurant claims that because of their extraction methods that they are able to create a broth that doesn't have the typical strong aroma that comes with boiling pork bones. Next, I tried the noodles, which are made fresh and in-house. That is good. 
The noodles are really pleasant, nice and thin. They go down pretty easy. On its own, the classic bowl of ramen is great and is adequately packed with noodles and toppings and one would most likely be satisfied without any additions. But I wanted the full experience, so I got the recommended topping set. Now to put some of the toppings in. Some of the toppings are just more of what's already in the bowl of ramen, but others, like the egg, are not. I'm not the biggest fan that this egg comes with the shell on. Um, call me lazy, I guess I am, but yeah, I don't like doing extra work. From what I gather, the eggs come with the shells on in Ichiran's Japan restaurants, and I respect the fact that they preserve this part of the experience for the US market, but I still don't like it. Nevertheless, if it's a good tasting egg, that's what really matters. Got a nice ramen egg free of its shell, finally. My application of the toppings is not the most elegant, but it's all about the taste. I was just loving my bowl of ramen. The way the delicious tonkatsu broth clung to the noodles and toppings was fantastic. The best topping was of course the chashu. It was perfectly cooked and full of flavor. Really enjoying all the toppings. The chashu is pretty solid, nice and thin, pretty juicy and fresh. Yeah, everything is really good. I'm also happy to say that the egg was worth the effort as it was soft and tasty. I just love ramen with lots of stuff in it. In terms of the spice level, I went one notch above the recommended setting since I've heard from others that the medium spice amount wasn't enough. I'm really loving the spice level in this dish. I think going for the number two spice was the way to go. For me, this is perfect. It really comes down to personal preference regarding the intensity of the heat. Well, I got a two, the spice scale at each run goes all the way up to a 10. I can't even imagine how spicy that would be. However, the spice at the restaurant is not just about delivering heat because the flavor from Ichiran's original spicy red sauce is incredible. In fact, their sauce is made from a combination of over 30 different spices. Plus, it gives the ramen a nice visual touch. Honestly, the bowls of ramen at Ichiran are just beautiful. In terms of the experience of eating in Ichiran's ramen booths, I really enjoyed it. It's perfect for single diners and is probably great for couples too as the partitions separating one another can be folded away. However, because of the setup, I can't imagine that Ichiran is the best place for groups. But for me, I loved it, and I loved my ramen down to the last drop. That hit the spot. I really enjoyed that. God, I love ramen. All right, time for dessert. Ordering dessert is easy. All I had to do was place the tray I received earlier over the call button. Seconds later, my table was cleared and it wasn't long after that I received my dessert, the matcha pudding. I just got my dessert, it came really quick after placing my order. It's not very big, but it does look good. With the teeny tiny spoon that I was provided with, I dove right in. Mm. That is nice. Really pleasant flavor. I like this. I'm really enjoying this matcha pudding. I mean, it's like the perfect thing to have after ramen. It's cool, it's refreshing, it's got great flavor. I'm loving this. And I'm liking the intensity of the matcha. It's not too subtle, but it's not too strong either. It's perfectly balanced. I really appreciate the fact that Ichiran has a dessert, and I wish more ramen restaurants offered the course, because like I said, something cool like my matcha pudding or perhaps ice cream can soothe the palate perfectly after a salty and spicy bowl of ramen. That pudding hit the spot. That was a solid ending to a great meal. Also, it's about 3.20 right now. I mean, this is the time to come if you do not want to stand in a line. There's a lot of seats open. Okay, all I gotta do is check out. Paying is a simple affair at Ichiran. All one has to do is to take the number that corresponds to one seat up to the counter. As far as the prices, they're definitely above average for an NYC ramen establishment. However, Ichiran is a non-tipping restaurant and taking that into account, the prices aren't as bad as they seem. Even though the costs are still higher than average, I would 100% recommend Ichiran because they offer a delicious bowl of ramen and a dining experience that one simply cannot get anywhere else in NYC. So that was an immensely satisfying lunch. I had a great time. My ramen hit the spot. It was without a doubt a solid offering. I wasn't the biggest fan of peeling my own egg, but you know, that's my biggest complaint and that's not bad, especially if you're not lazy like me, it's not a big deal. 
But frankly, there are a lot of great places in New York City for ramen, so why wait so long in line at Ichiran? The fact is, the experience they provide, the dining in the little private cubicles, is like no other. It's just so damn cool. Like most people, I dine out first and foremost for the food, but the experience is another important factor of that whole equation. Ichiran provides an amazing and unique ramen experience that you simply will not find anywhere else in New York City. For fans of ramen, Ichiran is a must. Now, I wouldn't recommend this restaurant for big groups, but for couples, for solo diners, it's awesome. I would definitely love to go to the original Ichiran in Japan someday, but for now, it is really nice to have this option here in New York City. My lunch was awesome, the experience was great, and I'll definitely be returning to Ichiran.